You are now listening to the Fantasy Whisper Podcast with your hosts, Johnny, Game Time Hicks, and Big Travi. What is happening, everybody? What's Big going Travi? on, Big Travi? Big Travi in the house. Uh, welcome into another episode of Face Off Friday. I am, of course, Big Travi. On the other side of the screen is Johnny Game Time Hicks. We are here to give you that fantasy football fix in a form of Face Off Friday. What we're looking to do today, Johnny, is give the people a taste of two guys going around the same uh, points in drafts coming up this fall and give them a little decisive info and debate a little bit about which guy we would take. So are you ready to start this off? Dude, I am so pumped up for this show. Tell the people who we're debating today. We're doing Keenan Allen and Michael Thomas currently going 2.05. So halfway through the second round for Michael Thomas and 2.08, which is near the back end of the second round. But going back to back, when you're talking about wide receivers taken, Travi, tell us why you like Keenan Allen more than Michael Thomas this year. I think it's simple. I think that we finally got a taste of what Keenan Allen is capable of. We finally saw him burst on the scene as an elite wide receiver. If you look at the volume that he attributed last year, he had a career highs in targets, receptions, and catch or in uh, receiving yards. So 147 targets, 102 catches, and 1,393 yards. I mean, these are stats, Johnny, that rival some of the best in the league. Um, He's not going to explode for those deep balls, but he has got a stranglehold on the largest target share in this offense. And right now, if you're asking me which is more effective, you know, pounding the rock with Melvin Gordon or (laughs) throwing the football (laughs) to Keenan Allen, uh, I got to say it's Keenan Allen. Johnny looks a little spooked over there by (laughs) Keenan Allen in this debate. I'm I'm just going to, Travis, you literally argued my lights off, bro. I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to roll with it. We're just going to go Got with to. it. Got to. I'm so, taking, I'm, I, I like your argument and I, and I, I get what you're saying about Keenan Allen. The only concern that I have was that he really struggled in the beginning of the season. And then once it came towards the end of the season, I mean, he really exploded. We really did see what he could do. He could be that top wide receiver guy. And you you saw Philip Rivers really start to pepper him with targets, which you really, really like. However, when you're talking about targets, you got to be talking about Michael Thomas, who is the target monster. He grabbed 130 or he had 139 targets last year, which was t- uh, the seventh in the league. He had third in receptions at the 104. Like whatever comes this guy's way, he's catching it. Even when he gets double teamed, it doesn't seem to affect him. He's got a 69% catch rate when he's double teamed. That's second behind only Antonio Brown. When you look at those wide receivers that have been double teamed for more than 10 routes and actually have receptions, which is amazing. I really, really like Michael Thomas. I know people are going to knock him for his touchdowns, but I do think he will have a little bit more touchdown opportunity this coming year with the the suspension coming to uh, the backfield there. So it's only it's going to be essentially Alvin Kamara. I expect them to do a little bit more passing. So I like myself some Michael Thomas. Here's my thing. Just like the lights went out on Johnny, the lights are going out on Drew Brees a little bit. Okay, he's on the back end of his career. I don't think that this offense is going to suddenly go from running the ball so much last year on a historic pace to now throwing the ball more. I mean, we don't see quarterbacks go from transitioning to a more run first offense back to being a pass first offense at the later half of their career. So in my opinion, I think that they are going to continue to run the ball and you're going to see Michael Thomas be a productive wide receiver, whereas I think Keenan Allen can be one of the top five guys at the position. I can't argue with you there. All right. All right. (laughs) That's it for today's show. Thank you so much for joining us on face off Friday. If you have a pair or duo that you want Travis and I to debate, leave a comment in the section below. And we'd love to take that challenge on Travis. Got anything else for the people? If you guys are the first comment, of a face-off challenge, we will not only do your face-off, we will 
we will shout out to you in the next face off. So please comment, give us a, a, a couple of guys you're torn between, and we will debate them live here on the Fantasy Whispers. Well, I think that's it for us, Johnny. As always, I'm Big Travi. That's Johnny Game Time Hicks, and we're out. Peace. Thank you for listening to the Fantasy Whisperers podcast. You can hear more from John and Travis on Google Play, SoundCloud, and iTunes. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at TF Whisperers.